Okay, so now that we have uh, our method here, um, I'm going to show you how to, to put it inside edit Python script so we can uh, access it with, uh, with other Python methods and so we don't need to copy and paste this code into every single component. So let's make a Python script. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste I'm going to copy that. And where we're going to put it is we're going to open edit Python script and we're going to make a new empty script. Uh, let's uh, paste that in. And uh, it's a good idea to always um, kind of describe what your method is doing. And so we do that uh, um, using this format and we say limit Vec returns a vector whose length is uh, in between uh, is constrained in between. the variables max and min and then we usually want to say uh, vector is a vector max and min are floats And you just want to be as clear as possible within uh, your, this right here. Okay, so let's save this as uh, my methods. And you always want to put .py on the end of it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now let's see if we have access to this import Rhino script syntax as rs import uh, my methods as mm and mm dot limit vec. So we have uh, we have access to it uh, right here, so we can say pass in a vec max and min and we're going to pass that out so it should work exactly the same as that that component up there uh, we had vec max and min so let's just plug these in right here. We can close that. Max and min. Okay, so it looks like it's working. And so there, so now uh, we can build up, uh, we can put a lot of, uh, we can put in, uh, you know, a lot of uh, functions in here and uh, call them whenever we need them and we don't have to worry about retyping them or anything like that. It's just really handy to do. Um, when I do this I usually uh, I usually uh, just do it in a Python component and that way I can work out the bugs and make sure it's working okay 
before I go ahead and put it inside that uh, that list uh, of methods and then uh, and then you can just call it um, using the same uh, format as uh, calling our Rhino script syntax methods so you just import whatever you call it as something or other and you can do my methods and if you don't want to you can just do this too you can just do so but um, but doing it as something smaller just is a little bit more handy okay so I hope that's uh, helpful and uh, we'll be doing a little bit more of that in the future.